We're going to start on um, hands and knees today. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And just pull in and tuck your tailbone under. Find that um, yoga cat. Just allow your head to drop down. Draw in your abdominals, tuck your tailbone under. Take a deep breath. Feel the space between the shoulders. And then just gently drop down. You're going to go to neutral spine and then reverse it to upward cat. Tuck your toes under. Dig those toes in. Look forwards. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Take them back. Open out the chest. Let's go again. We've got neutral spine. Draw in the core. And lift up to cat. Space between the shoulder blades. Drop it down to neutral, cause pull in, look forward, open the chest, hip cap. Nice. Coming back to neutral, pull in the core. You've got knees still, hip width, and your hands are underneath your shoulders. If you're struggling with your wrist, you could always go down here onto your elbows. So, just going to take um, a little bit of stretch and a little bit of work on glutes and core. So core's in, neutral spine, left leg just straightening out and then just lift, level up with the hips, squeezing the left glute. Let's just hold. Keep squeezing that left glute, try not to let the hips tilt, adding in the arms, so right arm, straightening out the right arm, lift up level with the shoulders. Feel that length. You're getting pulled from your fingertips and your toes. Keep breathing. Keep squeezing. Release the hand back down. We're going to keep that leg up just for a moment more. And we're just going to take it across. So going across the right leg. And just place it down so your, your um, toes go down in towards the side of the mat. Or just off the mat just going to take a stretch in here and now you can really push into into the right uh, in towards the left hip to get that stretch all along the side so just take a moment into that stretch draw the core in and you're pushing towards the left keep breathing bring that foot back up and release it back down. So let's go to the other side, right leg, straighten the right leg, flex the foot, we're going to lift, squeeze the right glute, lift that lower right leg level with the hips, and just working, pulling in the core, squeezing right glute, hold, keep breathing, adding in that left hand, take the low handshake, draw up the left hand level with the shoulder, Keep breathing and hold and squeeze. You're still working on that right glute. Eye gaze is down. Slightly forwards. You can point those toes and really work the length right through the body. Imagine the crown of the head is being drawn forwards. Last breath. Flexing the foot, lower the left hand down. Here comes row. <laughs> so taking that right leg, we're bringing it across the left. So bring in this stretch, and then take that stretch. So towards the right side, you're going to feel that kind of on the, around the right outside of the of the right hip. Working into that stretch. So the foot's down, engaging towards the floor and you're kind of moving towards the right hip. Last breath. Bring that foot back around and lower it down. So let's go thread the needle. So here we go. We're going to go, let's start on the left hand. Take that left hand, thread it underneath the right hand, right arm. Bring the forehead down towards the mat. Pressing in. With the right hand, you can work into your twist. If you want a little bit more, straightening out that right hand. Sink the shoulders down. A 
the grass. And then uncurl. So we go to this other side, we've got right hand, thread it underneath the left arm, drop the head down. Take a moment and you can work into your twist, so push down with the left hand, keep breathing. If you want a little bit more, straightening out that left arm. Deep breaths, in through the nose, out through the nose. Last breath. And then release. Let's have a quick moment. We'll do a melting heart stretch. So it's a bit like your downward dog. If you want to take downward dog, go for that one. But we're on kneeling still. And we're just stretching the arms forwards as far as you can. Head goes in between the arms. And the stretch goes here underneath. Or oh, you feel it in the armpits and, the, and also the backs of the shoulders. Tailbones high up in the air. You can take the forehead down to the mat. A couple of stretches. We're going to do lots of shoulder stretches today. So release the hands a bit and we're going to take a tricep stretch. So elbows bent palms together and take your palms over towards the back of your head and you can just press down now into the elbows this is your tricep stretch engage your palms as well so pushing your palms together and you're pressing your elbows down into the mat you're going to feel that on the backs of the arms a couple of breaths And release. So coming down onto our fronts. And we're just going to take a little stretch on the neck. So first of all, just lying. And you're just going to place uh, your arms down by your sides and look to the side. So your, your chin's near your shoulder, but you can start to draw your shoulders down away from your ears and your chin. So just a stretch for the neck. Reach the fingertips down towards the toes. A couple of breaths. You can still engage, kind of core muscles, pelvic floor, and then over to the other side. So just looking the other side, draw the shoulders down, fingertips going down towards toes. Take the stretch up of the mat. And release back to centre, arms out towards the sides of the mat. Let's go for the swan dive. So, eye gaze down, breathe out, lift the head and shoulders, breathing in lower. Draw in pelvic floor, pull in your tummy button up towards your spine, breathing out as you lift, breathing in as you lower. If you want a bit more, you're lifting up the arms, breathing out, lift, breathing in lower. Two more. And then let's go down. Breathe out lift. And breathing in lower. Last layer. Breathe out lift. It's like remember, imagine you're a puppet and you're getting lifted up. Breathe in, then breathing out in the puppet strings. Take the hands forwards. Coming back, lowering down. And again, lift. Breathe out, reaching forwards. And back down, lower down. Two more. Puppet goes up. Next breath. Puppet arms forwards. Knee centre. Last one. Breathing out lift. Breathing out, reaching forwards. And lower it back down. Just a small rest. <laughs> so I've got a few more stretches for the shoulders. So I'm just going to shift towards the side so I don't fall off the decking. So, uh, take the eye gaze down, but take that gentle lift that we've just worked on there. And take your arms wide. I mean, I would go a bit wider on this hand, if you've got the space. If I come forwards a little bit more. And you're just going to go on your fingertips. Bend your elbows, almost like a cactus arms. Bend your elbows. Breathing out, lift. Draw 
draw the shoulders down and away from the ears. Pull in the core. Keep breathing. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to dip the right shoulder down towards the mat. So just taking a slight little twist and then lifting it back up. And then the left shoulder so dips down and then lifts. And right. If you want to go slower and work down in the down in the dip, that's fine. And then into the left. And lift and gently lower yourself down. Taking another stretch on the shoulder. So arms out to the sides, T-shaped. Totally relax. Let the shoulders melt down and towards the floor now. So we're going to go um, on the right shoulder first. So left hand press down in towards the floor and then lift up the left leg, bend and just bring in a twist, place the left foot across the right leg. Press in to this left, left hand and you get this lovely stretch on the shoulder. A couple more breaths. Slowly release it all back round, bring that foot back round, we go on the other side, so let the le left shoulder just relax down, look towards the right, <laughs> you can see the rain, then that right elbow, press down with the right, the right hand into the mat or the floor, bend the left knee, in, add in the twist, left foot goes down, and you're just looking towards the right. Feeling the stretch on the shoulder, maybe a little bit in the chest. A couple more breaths. And slowly release it back down. Gently pressing up. I'm going to take that child's pose just to release. So you should get that stretch on the lower back here. Covered in bits from the tree. <laughs> so coming down, see if you can get the forehead down on the mat. Arms just down by your sides. Perhaps a little rock side to side. Just finding the space there in the lower back. Shoulders relax. Okay, so we're going to move on to our side. So, just got a balance for the side. And again, a little stretch on the shoulders. So lying down, line yourself up with the front of the mat, now find the pelvic floor, find your tummy butt and your transverse abdominis and draw it in, lift up the top leg, now that might feel like that's enough, you can feel the tension going down that leg, flex that foot and just hold, feel kind of your quads engaged, your glutes are engaged, if you want a bit more you can bring up that other leg as well and work that double leg lift. Hold, drawing in. So we've got two options. We could go for the full body stretch and hold on this balance. Now see if you can gently lift up to lift up your elbows, but you're still resting on your shoulders. Lift and hold. Keep breathing. Last breath, release. Same option if you want to go for the same one again. Otherwise, I'm going to give you a little tricep, another tricep stretch, but in this position. So one hand's going behind the back, and you're going to see if you can link up with the other fingers, which is coming from the top. Linking together. Lift the top leg, that might be enough. Keep the rise on the chest, the shoulders back. If you want a bit more, both legs lift and hold. If you're working the link, let's just see if you can touch those fingertips together. A couple more breaths. And release it back down. <laughs> let's go on the other side. So, set yourself up. Nice straight line with the mat. Draw in the core. Feel the tension in the legs. Lift the top leg. It's really squeezing quads. Squeezing the glutes, flexing that foot. Head down on arm. If you want a little bit of a lift, just lift the ear away from the from the arm. 
So drawing in, double leg lift. If you want to take that double leg lift, keep pulling in, keep walking, working on the core. So we took that arm over, and then you can work on easing the, the weight off the elbow. So you're just working on the shoulders. It's hard, it's a good balance. Feel the tension all along the body, trying to make the body really long. A couple of breaths. And slowly release that back down. Same option, or you take that tricep stretch. So this hand's coming back, palms going on my um, palm out, the back of my hand on my back, and I'm reaching up my spine. And this other hand's going to reach and join it. Ooh. Take that tricep stretch. Just keep the length at the back of the neck. One leg lift, other leg lift. Let's hold. Pulling in the core, lift up the chest, draw the shoulders back, keep breathing, find pelvic floor, pull in, release it back down, release the hands, and we're going to go on to our backs, so I'll just shift it around. So, lowering down. We're going to mix a bit of a chest lift with a toe tap. So just start by finding your neutral spine, pulling in your core, your shoulders are relaxed, take your hands to the back of your head. And I don't want you to really push on your head, just gently rest them there. Knees and feet are hip width apart. Just breathe out and it's just lifting the chest with shoulders, breathing in to lower, breathing out lift, breathing in lower. I try not to really force your kind of neck and your shoulders into this lift. I want more work in the abdominals. Breathing out there. Breathing in lower. This might feel comfortable. You might want a bit more work here. So you could take legs straight. Oh, my hamstrings are tight. They can't get straight. If you can, see if you can get them up straight. Breathing out lift, breathing in lower. Two more. Again, try and get the core to do the work, not the neck. Last one. Lowering it back down. Okay, take away the hands from the head. We're going to add that in in a minute. Just put them on towards um, your pelvis and not onto your hips. And we'll take some toe taps. So it's lift one leg to tabletop and lower it back down. Try and keep the right ankle behind the knee. Breathing out, lift. Breathing in, lower. And I've got your hands there on the hips to see if your hips are staying still. They're not tilting side to side. Pulling in the core to keep the hips still. Shoulders are relaxed. So this, this might be the layer that's good for you today. So you're keeping your hips still. Your back's in neutral and you're drawing in your core. So stick with that. If you want a little bit more, we can work from a tabletop down. So one leg to tabletop, draw in the core, take a, sl a slight imprint on the lower back, other leg to tabletop. If the imprint doesn't feel comfortable, go back down to that first layer. Otherwise, toe tap down and lift. I'm still working at that hip width. Breathing out as a toe tap down, breathing in as a lift. Shoulders are relaxed, drawing in the core. So we can put in the chest lift now onto these moves. So hands behind the head, still put, put, working on the imprint. So we'll go two chest lifts. Breathing out of your left, breathing in into lower. And then let's go two toe taps, two chest lifts. two toe taps and maybe you want more otherwise if you don't want more go back down to the first layer the feet go on the floor <sighs> breathing out to your left if you want a bit more you've got your double toe taps try and keep the elbows down the back of the neck on the floor double toe tap imprint chest lift chest lift 
double toe tap. You've still got the imprint. Keep breathing. Breathe out when the toes go down. And chest lift. Last one, double toe tap, double toe tap, chest lift, chest lift, gently place the feet back down. So let's combine the two moves, so we'll chest lift and double toe tap but in a different combination as in we'll do it together, so instead of alternating. So let's go for a single leg first, hands behind the head. Breathing out, that, um, you've got a, a leg lift and a chest lift and lower. Breathing out, leg lift, chest lift and lower. Now you should start feeling this in the core now. Still waking at that hip width with the feet and the knees. Try and get the abs to do the work, not the neck. Or the elbows sometimes. <laughs> Try and keep the elbows open, the chest open. If you want a bit more, then double toe tap up, chest lift, and lower. <sighs> Breathing as you lift. Keep working on the imprint. <sighs> if you need a little bit of a hand, elbows can come in. Should feel that one in the core. Two more. Last one. Slide the feet away. Arms overhead. Take a full body stretch. Point the toes. So if you can get your backs of your arms down on the floor, the back of the neck. So chin slightly down towards chest. So the back of the neck stretches also. So similar move, bend the knees, is a crisscross, but we add in a twist, so hands behind the head again, so it's a lift to that, uh, lift up, a leg lift, <laughs> I was going to say a leg toe, toe tap, but that doesn't make sense, so lift, <laughs> lift up the leg, and it's opposite elbow, touches opposite knee, and lowers that down, lower it down, and then swap it over, and lower, breathing out lift. Breathing in and lower. Try and keep the hip wet. So if you want a bit more, go to your tabletop again. So work a little bit harder on your imprint. And then straightening out one leg like your single leg stretch. And then opposite knee to elbow. So there, there goes your crisscross. Pulling in the core, keep working on the imprint. Check you've got your pelvic floor pulled in. Four more. Four. And three. And two. And last one. And release the feet back down. So, last move and then I'll do a little re relaxation. Just draw the feet a bit closer, perhaps you can touch your heels. I'm going to take the shoulder bridge. So slowly articulate up the spine and lifting up the hips. Really push into the glutes. Lift as high as you can. We're just going to take a stretch with this. Link the fingers underneath the body and tuck the shoulder blades in. So you've got that full stretch on the chest. Your chin should be going towards your chest. Really push, push, push now as high as you can. Push up through the glutes. You might get the stretch on the quads, the fronts of the legs. Deep breath. Last one. Release the hands, slowly lowering back down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Hug the knees into the chest, just a little rock side to side. Or a circle. And then we're just going to take a little um, relaxation, so straighten out the legs, let the shoulders relax, arms down by your sides, and just take a couple of breaths. Just 
just sealing in the practice that we've done. And I'm going to give you active relaxation. So I want you to get your heels together, point your toes, squeeze your glute, uh, squeeze your quads so your backs of your knees go down towards the mat. Really squeeze. So you should feel by putting your toes, your calves are getting squeezed. By pushing the backs of your knees down, your quads are getting a squeeze. Squeeze and squeeze. The maximum amount of engagement and squeeze you can put in, the maximum amount of relaxation you'll get from it. Last one, and squeeze, and just slowly release, let the muscles relax. Feet can turn out. Totally let go of the legs. Let's do the same with the arms. So make a fist shape and really press your fingers in towards, uh, in towards your, uh, your palms. Shoulders up towards ears. Feel the tension in your arms. Draw in your tummy and you might squeeze your glutes at the same time. And really pull everything in. Working those fists, shoulders up towards ears. Squeeze, pull in the tummy, squeeze the glutes. Last squeeze, and then just release. Opening out the fingers, let the shoulders relax down into the mat. Just allow the tummy just to be rest, rest and be normal. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> Gonna take the muscles in your face. So take your muscles in your face, so scrunch up your eyes, tense your jaw, hold it, squeeze and squeezing your muscles in your eyebrows. One last squeeze, and tense, and then release. Release the jaw, release the eyes and the eyebrows. <laughs> forehead and perhaps just take a minute now so you could pause the video and just hold and hold the stillness hold your relaxation allow your muscles to relax When you're ready to come up, bend your knees, tip over, onto your right side, slowly coming back up. And thank you for joining me for Pilates today.